Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Haze Co. I am Aja A. And this is your, what is this? This is the Libra <laughs> full moon video, okay? This is the first full moon of the spring season in Cardinal Libra. Um, to get started, if you guys don't know what a full moon is, it's when the moon is opposite the sun and the side of the moon that is facing us is completely, excuse me, illuminated in the sky. And as far as energy is concerned, we're dealing with illumination, clarity, also release in order to make clear out space for the things that we need to cultivate, for the things that we need to come in, okay? Um, this moon is going to be, oh, and also because we're dealing with the full moon, this is also a time when um, emotions typically tend to be heightened. Um, we are dealing with Libra for this full moon, so we'll be dealing with this Libra full moon energy for the next couple of weeks, although the moon does change signs every few days. The full moon is in Libra, so that is the dominant energy for the next couple of weeks. Um, I had somebody ask me about that um, a few weeks ago, and I had to go, oh, I don't really explain that in my video. So yes, the moon does change signs every few days. However, the major lunations are new moons and full moons. And so when we hit the new moons and the full moons, those are the dominant energies for the that time period, okay? So we're dealing with Libra full moon energy for the next couple of weeks. It will be strongest around the actual lunation um, in a couple of days before and a couple of days after, which we consider the shadow period, okay? This full moon is going to be happening on Sunday? No. Yeah. Yeah. Sunday, uh, March 28th at 2.48 in the afternoon, and that is Eastern Standard Time if you want to do your calculations. And it's going to be happening in eight degrees, which I will get into a little bit further in the video, okay? Um, just to give a little bit of background on Libra energy, Libra is the scales, okay? And if you're if you're a tarot person, you know that Libra is associated with the justice, the justice card in, in tarot. And so we're dealing with the energy of balance, justice, fairness, things coming together, right? Bringing things back into balance. Um, Libra is an air sign, so we're dealing with also the energy of perspective. Um, Libra, if you know any Libras, no matter how they act on the outside, Libra is also a sign that is known for um, their intelligence. And so we're also dealing with some smarts <laughs> during the next couple of weeks. And um, for Libra people, they're also quite generous. They're, they're very generous. They're very kind. Um, and Libra is also ruled by Venus. So there is the energy of beauty and aesthetic coming in for us as well over the next couple of weeks. Now on the shadow side, Libra can rock with a little bit of paranoia. Libra is air. So every air sign on their shadow side is like whoosh, airhead. Um, <laughs> um, and there's also confusion when Libra is operating on the shadow side, the way the best way that I can look at it is just when Libra is not operating within their light, it's just a whole bunch of nonsense. So keep in mind that we may also be dealing with those energies during the next couple of weeks as well, which I'll talk about the, the shadow aspects in just in just a few minutes. Okay, a few points that I want to hit with this particular energy that we'll be dealing with over the next couple of weeks. And the first is that this is a cardinal sign, and it is the first full moon of the springtime. And so although we're going to have many moons, about three moons over the spring season, we're starting it off with a cardinal full moon. So the spring season for us is going to be about bringing things back into balance, okay? Um, and as far as these next couple of weeks go, we're going to be looking at what's off kilter in our lives. What seems off? What doesn't seem to be where it needs to be, what seems to be weighing us down, what seems to be getting a little bit too much energy for us, and how do we bring all of this stuff back into balance. And it's going to look different for everybody on an individual level, but that is one of the main themes that we're going to be rocking with for the next couple of weeks, okay? Um, because this is full moon energy, there is that notion of illumination and clarity. And so when we get to the point of what is off kilter, what's also going to be happening is we're going to be getting ideas and notions, especially because we're dealing with air energy. We're going to be getting the smarts, okay, having that intelligence to figure out what it is 
that has everything out of whack and what needs to be done to bring things back into balance, okay? As I mentioned, things are off kilter. Um, and this doesn't mean that your life is turned and flipped all upside down. This could, what I would say is look at where this moon is passing over your chart. Look at where Libra is in your chart, what, what house Libra is in, in your chart. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have any, I know I don't have any planets in Libra because I don't have a lot of air in my chart. But look at what, if you're like me and you don't have Libra placements in your chart, you can look at where, um, what house falls in Libra. And you know some, I actually, I, I got to really look at my chart because I have no, I, I don't know off the top of my head what house falls in Libra in my chart. Hmm. Am I ready? For, <laughs> am I ready for this full moon? I don't know. I don't know, baby. Um, so look at your chart, see where the moon is transiting over your personal natal chart and you can get an idea of what you might getting a glimpse into being off balance and what needs to be bought back into balance, what needs to be realigned over the next couple of weeks, okay? And just keep in mind that because we are now in a cardinal season, we're in Aries solar season, although we're still in the Pisces lunar cycle, um, and we're dealing with Libra cardinal full moon, it's all about getting things and it started initiating things, getting things popping. And in order for you to really harness that Aries energy, especially when we hit the Aries new moon, you're going to need to be in alignment with everything that you need to be in alignment with, okay? Um, the next next point that I have here is uh, speaking to that Libra perspective. And if you know me personally, you know this is one of my personal mantras. It, it's all about perspective. Um, I actually just had to, I just had to bang on somebody on Twitter today about this. And low key, I think that girl might be a Libra. Hmm. Um, it's all about perspective. And so with us coming into this full moon space and also coming into the springtime where things are fresh, the energy is new, the energy is rejuvenated, and then coming off of that what's off balance, what's off kilter, there's also this notion to look at what does not work for us or how has life been playing out for us and how have we been taking it in? What have we been like, how, how are things just not, what's not working, what doesn't seem right and what has been going on that we may not have necessarily accepted. For example, um, I had some stuff going on with my job and I had been in a space where I was like, all right, I'm ready to, you know, I'm just ready to buckle down and do it. And then something happened that prevented me from buckling down and doing it. And while, I'm a little irritated because that put a wrench in some of my plans it, at that point in time. Not like I can't reschedule in plans, but it put a wrench in my plans at that point in time. And I was a little pissed about it for a few days. Moving into this full moon energy, I'm going to need to look at why is this stuff playing out like this? It's all about perspective. Instead of being pissed about it, instead of being mad and feeling inconvenienced, by the way that things are moving and shaking. And remember, we're in a five year, so nothing really is going to play out the way that we expect it to or going to take the steps that we expect it to take And as far as getting to that end goal. The end goal will very much so be the same. That destination is going to be the same. However, how you get there might look a little different from what you thought it was going to look like. And that's where that perspective comes in. So instead of me being inconvenienced or feeling inconvenienced, I, I'm going to have to train my brain tap into that air, that air Libra energy, train my brain to go, okay, this is playing out like this. I feel inconvenience, but this is playing out like this because of A, B, and C, because I need X, Y, and Z to happen over here. So as things play out over the next couple of weeks, especially if they're things that you did not expect, y'all gonna have to forgive me. I painted my nails yesterday and they are looking really nice. And yes, these are my real nails. Y'all know anytime you get a new set or you paint your nails, you got fresh nail polish on your hands, you'd be like, ooh, you want to talk with your fingers. Just touching everything, just, anyways. Um, and I know I've been in this whole video like, hmm. Word to my sister, she's been picking my nail colors for my videos and she's been doing a really good job. Um, anyways, sorry y'all, let's <laughs> get back to what I was saying. Uh, there we go. That's that Libra air energy just just blew away in the wind for a little second. Um, expect that to be happening over the next couple of weeks as well because the air energy is dominant for the next couple of weeks. So you might be feeling a little airy up there in your brain. Uh, <laughs> um, anyways, going back to what I was saying. Um, 
it's all about perspective and understand that things are playing out the way that they need to and playing out in the steps in the ways that they need to because there are shifts coming in again we're in cardinal season now we're in we're in cardinal um airy solar season we just started the spring season which is the the start of the astrological year so it's all about new beginnings new chapters new foundations all of that stuff and so with this libra full moon we're getting clarity into well how are these new beginnings coming into play and what what's happening so that these new beginnings can can start off fresh first and start off positively and, and turn into something abundant and successful okay um the next note or really the last note sorry y'all i know my chair be sorry y'all <laughs> i try so hard if it's not noise outside it's this chair if it's not the chair it's my neighbors if it's not my neighbors it's something else somebody just keep calling my phone it's something it's always something but it's okay because i'm pushing through we're still gonna it's, we're good we're gucci um, the last note that I have here in regards to this Libra full moon energy is that Libra is ruled by Venus. And I did mention earlier that Libra carries this energy of beauty, of aesthetic. And also with Venus, there is the uh, Venus also rules our finances as well. And so to, to go into the beauty and the aesthetic, this is the full moon. And, and y'all, again, we've been in a whole, whole Patricia for the whole year. And we still, we still in Patricia's house still and patricia house getting real old if i must say so myself i'm really sick of this pandemic nonsense but you know whatever um we're in a pandemic and most people and i commend you if you were not in this group but most people kind of just let themselves go one because you've been in the house and who's looking at you you know what i'm saying um kind of just let themselves go and no judgment pass here listen have y'all seen my eyebrows for the past six months i literally will I tried to hook them up for the video, but let me tell you, this camera is doing me justice because my eyebrows look wild. They look crazy. And I actually have not had them done since the Libra new moon around that time. Um, and that's, that's a story within itself because I'm traumatized right now. <laughs> I'm going to go get my eyebrows done. <laughs> I'm going to muster up the courage to go get my eyebrows done within these next couple of weeks, y'all. I promise. Hot Girl Summer is coming up. Hot Girl Summer 2 is coming up and I can't be out here with the caterpillars. Um, but if you were like me or like most people in the world, you kind of kind of weren't really worried about your physical appearance, worried about your physical health for the most part. You kind of just kind of let things fall by the wayside. With this full moon coming in, there is, there is this little poking and pulling to say, hey, things are shifting and things are getting ready to start looking different or maybe normal if we can ever go back to normal um it's time to get cute again it's time to get back into what you look like and not to say be vain but listen if you were like me you know you need to get your eyebrows done because you've been out here looking like a whole caterpillar and his cousin and it's okay we can admit to that so, you know, some of us have not been eating right. Some of us have not been, especially if you're somebody who was before into beauty and, and aesthetic and things like that and your, your personal parents, you know, some of us have not been working out. Some of us have not been eating right. Some of us have not been getting our eyebrows done. Some of us have not shaved our legs in who knows how many months. That, well, that was me at a point, but I, I have I have shaved. So, <laughs> making progress, y'all. Um, with this Libra influence, in this full moon, we're going to be getting rid of that heaviness of, okay, everything is whack, everything is sad, everything, I'm angry about everything, all oh, the world is shut down, so I ain't got to do this, I don't need to look like X, Y, and Z. Going to be moving away from that and also moving out of the winter season moves us away from those SAD, um, those SAD feelings. A lot of people do suffer from that over the, the cold months, um, myself included. So moving away from those things, the energy is getting lighter. And as the energy gets lighter, you get back into the things that you, you enjoy. And not that I enjoy getting my eyebrows threaded, but I enjoy having popping ass eyebrows. And I got some cute eyebrows when they're done. So, you know, that we're, we're moving into that space, moving back into let's get cute again. Let's get back into our physical appearance. Let's get back into how we're presenting ourselves. And not to say that that's super important, but understand that when you look good you feel good 
And I think everybody wants to, to feel good again. And so there's going to be energy lent to looking good. And now on the shadow side, I will say that Libra is known for spending money on, and I don't want to call it trivial. To me, it's trivial, but for spending money on luxurious items and, and beauty items and things of that sort and, and spending a little bit too much money. Like, y'all not the rappers in the clubs with the ones and the strippers. So just be mindful. And the rappers don't throw ones. And Libra don't throw ones. So just be mindful. When you start getting back into your beauty care routines, getting back into your, your personal appearance, that you are being mindful about how much money you're putting in and putting out in regards to those things okay let's just segue right into libra on the shadow side with that um oh before i go into that because libra is ruled by venus and venus does touch money coming back into a space to where we're going to be looking at gaining some clarity into what's funny with the money how is it not working how can we bring our finances back into balance and that could literally mean like balancing your checkbooks i don't know if people still do that but that that's an umbrella term for like getting your money right as far as I'm concerned in this day and age. Um, and that could be just, you know, rebudgeting, refinancing, re looking at the way that you're sending money out, looking at how much income is coming in and what you're spending money on, all of those things. So with the full moon here, gaining clarity, gaining illumination, and also releasing bad habits in regards to the way that we're spending money and the way that we are receiving money, if that makes sense, okay? Now, segueing into Libra on the shadow side. I already said, be careful with your money during the next couple of weeks. And I don't get the sense that, oh, you're going to lose money. I just get, because of Libra energy, I just get that, you guys, especially with springtime being here, that a lot of people are going to be like, oh, I want something new. I want something flashy. I want some new X, Y, and Z. I want some new shoes. I want some new clothes. I'm going to go get my hair done, which in that, that is okay. But just don't, don't go all in with all you got. Budget. Okay. Um. What else do I have here for, for Libra on the shadow side? I mentioned that Libra can be kind of paranoid when they are not operating within their light. And over the next couple of weeks, there may be this feeling of paranoia of, oh my gosh, is this gonna work out? Oh my gosh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen the way that I want it to. Be mindful about the way that you think and about the way that you speak, especially when we are dealing with an air moon. Air is the sign of communication, which means that your words are very, very powerful right now. Anything that you speak, you literally will be speaking into existence during these next couple of weeks, especially during the moon and around the shadow period. So try to move away from that shadow side, Libra paranoia of, oh, I don't have this. Oh, this is not going to work. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Just calm down. Take a breather. Please chill out. Okay. Take a chill pill, y'all. And shift your perspective we talked about perspective and shift the way that you speak you don't want to speak lack onto anything that you have popping off right now because you're coming into no not coming into we are now in a period of new things happening you don't want to speak lack and and doubt and and negativity over the new things that are building up and growing in your lives all right um what else confusion and nonsense okay listen libra not Libra. This is not the Libra video. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm gonna have to fuss with the Libras in their in their monthly, <laughs> especially with y'all having y'all's full moon. Listen, collective. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Libra on the shadow side, they can be a little confused, a little aloof, and just a, a lot of nonsense could be swirling around in there. When Libras are not operating within their light for some reason, and they're one of the the smarter signs, they're one of the more intelligent signs, but for some reason, when they are not you know, operating within their highest good or with their best intentions, they they could be a little silly. Like I don't want to say stupid because I don't want the Libras coming at me. <laughs> but like they like you you if you know any Libras and you notice when they're operating on their shadow sides, you you looking at them like make it make sense because it doesn't. And that's the energy that you want to stay away from <laughs> during these next couple of weeks. We're in the space of new energy 
with the springtime and with us being in Aries solar season. Although we have the Libra full moon, you don't want to give too much influence and, and fall into the shadow aspects of that and to where you're doing things that don't make sense, to where you're, you're coming up with plans that are not going to be beneficial, to where you're just tossing out nonsense and thinking that the nonsense is going to manifest into something good. So just be mindful. And what I will say is any plans that you have right now, Take a little bit of time to think them over once, twice, thrice, okay? And then make your moves once we get closer to the Aries new moon, I would say right now. And chill a little bit more so work on releasing things and, and getting your clarity out and your illumination into what, excuse me, you need to get clarity and illumination into you guys. Please forgive me. I am tired. I was sleeping. I didn't get my eight hours. My sister called me. My sister called me to tell me that I have a need. Um, she's not in this, she's not, we're not in the same state currently, so not at the hospital with my new baby niece, but my sister woke me up and I'm a little tired, <laughs> so please forgive the yawning, but I wanted to get this video up because I feel like it's going to be a wild ride for the next couple of weeks and I wanted to make sure these videos go out. All right, and so that's all I got for the shadow. Very quickly, um going into the aspects this moon will be trying both mars and saturn and so mars is connected to instinct and the moon is all about feeling and intuition so we're really in a, a space in a period to where we're really feeling what we need to be jumping into again feeling how we need to bring things back into balance feeling what we are passionate about and what we're getting ready to put our attach our little heartstrings to right Mars is impulsive, but because the moon will also be trying Saturn, Saturn does bring in a little bit of structure in regards to making these moves. So like I mentioned earlier, make sure that you're thinking these things through and make sure that you are coming up with some feasible plans that can actually bring in abundance and, and a positive outcome. Don't just don't just blow in the wind with the air signs. Just, you know, just tap into a little bit of Saturn, even though Saturn is in an air sign. So I don't know how that's going to go, but tap into a little bit of Saturn and gain a little bit of structure for the plans and the moves that you want to make, okay? Um, the moon will be opposite Venus. There's double Venus influence there. And I did mention this earlier. There is going to be a tendency to be overindulgent, especially because I pick up on people will be getting their finances together or, or some something, something with money. People, you might be coming into some money, you might be getting more money. You might just get your, your money together. Um, there is There is a notion to be overindulgent and spend money on things that when you may not necessarily need or things that could be put off or things that don't need that don't need to be purchased oh excuse me y'all my bad <clears throat> so just be mindful of that if, especially if you're making big purchases just try to you know once twice thrice is do i need this right now can i afford this right now is this going to be beneficial to whatever it is that i'm trying to do currently or can i wait on this and just just keep that in mind for the next couple of weeks not saying that you're gonna be able to spend your money soon because i know everybody loves spending money but just keep it cute try to keep it cute for the next couple of weeks because you know we still in like i said we still in patricia house apparently we ain't worn out our welcome she said no you guys stay stay in this panoramic um the moon is happening in eight degrees and eight is the number of cycles infinity and karma and i also like to consider eight the number of exponential growth okay so we're in a we're in a space to actually shift ourselves into the next chapter and this full moon like i said is giving us insight giving us clarity and illumination into what it is that needs to be released in order for us to to really be in these new spaces be in this new chapter be in these new places where we're supposed to be building and supposed to be growing and we are now in the spring season time to spring clean it on up and literally and uh, figuratively um, I actually cleaned my house the other day, a couple days ago, scrub a dub dub top to bottom. Um, and you know, those energies may be coming in for you. Uh, I do say when you start cleaning in the physical, it's also happening for you on a subconscious level. So spring cleaning might actually be a good thing to do around this Libra full moon before we actually hit the Aries, uh, the Aries new moon. Yes, before we, sorry, uh, so many moons in that sentence. Before we hit the Aries new moon, it would be good to do a little spring cleaning with the Aries, uh, excuse me, the Aries, gosh, the Libra, 
a little bit of sprinkling and with the Libra full moon before we hit the Aries new moon. Why was that so hard to get out? Don't know. Okay. Moon is happening on a nine day and this just goes to further support what I was saying about us moving into new chapters. Nine is the number I associate with ascension, closing chapters, and also leveling up into the next space and the next place. Okay. So this Libra full moon, what needs to be brought back into balance? Where do we need to shift our perspective? What aesthetics, what presentations do we need to be looking at? And I'll call her in a minute. What presentations do we? And then also as we're wrapping up the astrological year, we're looking at what residual things need to be cleared out so we can get it rocking and get it popping in the springtime, okay? Very quickly, what rituals am I doing for this Libra full moon? I already talked about spring cleaning. That is actually one of the rituals that I'm doing for this for this Libra full moon. Um, because we're dealing with air, as always, you guys know I like to cleanse my, my decks and my stones and my healing jewelry and my, my space. So smudging, the smoke from the smudge, I associate with the air element. So smudging your space. And when you smudge, y'all, open a window, burn a white candle. Do not just smudge and think you're getting rid of all them dense and negative and stagnant energies because all you're doing is just lifting them up and swirling them around. Open a window and do these things with intention. Um, and you don't have to smudge with the feather. You can just light a coal and burn your smudge. You can take your little cauldron or your coal burner around the house. If you don't have smudge, you can also, you know, just intend to have white light wash over your space. But if you're trying to tap into the air element, the, the smoke from the smudge going into the air is that air element. Um, full moon intentions. I like to write full moon intentions. Um, and I start them with things like I release, I no longer, I cease, I let go of. Again, remember the full moon is a time of release. It's a time or I can see clearly or I understand. Time of release, understanding, and um, clarity. And so after I write my intentions, and because we're dealing with Libra, I'll probably use like pink or like a light blue to write my intentions or like a pink or light blue uh, piece of paper. What's that? I don't know what that was. Um, and then I burn them. Yo, I need to take a nap. I am so sorry. <laughs> I need to go back to sleep. Um, also, somebody asked me about this too. Some stones that you can work with for the next couple of months or for your full moon rituals um, that are associated with Libra are white and green jade, blue, orange, and black kyanite, um, lipidolite, lilac lipidolite. I don't know if there's any other lipidolite, but every time I read about lipidolite, it's like lilac lipidolite. Bro, is that snow? Woo, that's crazy. That looks like, it's blowing like hell, that's crazy. Um, it was not snowing a couple minutes ago. Welcome to Colorado. Um, Lilac Lipidolite, Hypersteen, Lapis Lazuli, Citrine, Chrysoprase, Bloodstone, and Tangerine Horacords. Those are all good Libra stones to be working with during the next couple of weeks, okay? Um, and that's all I got for y'all for the for the rituals, for the intentions. Um, again, this full moon is all about gaining clarity and illumination into what needs to be released to bring us back into balance and alignment. And also it's all about shifting into new perspectives and getting back into the aesthetic that we want. And that could very much so go into living your best life, okay? What does that look like? Again, what is living your best? What is the aesthetic of living your best life? And how do you release what needs to be released to get there? Libra full moon things, okay? Um, the people that are going to be mostly affected by this full moon are people with a lot of Libra energy in their charts, also Aries, um, but we'll, and we'll also go so far as to say cardinal energy, so Libra, Aries, Cancer, and Capricorn. If you got a lot of them placements in your chart, this full moon will be hitting you. Um, and I, But I don't get heavy vibes here. With this air energy, I feel like it's going to be... It might not always look positive on the surface, but there's some, some good stuff coming in for everybody. Again, five universally, you're all right. Um, people with a lot of eight 
degree energy in your chart or within the orb of eight degrees, which is like six or seven degrees either way. Um, and then also people with a lot of air placements in their charts. If you have anything that I just listed, a lot of that in your chart, definitely expect some transformation around this Libra full moon coming in for you, okay? All right, y'all. That's all I got for you before I go. Um, I started a TikTok because... My sister convinced me to get one. <laughs> so I, I now have a TikTok where I upload very short readings because you can only do 60 seconds on there or 15 seconds. Like, Y'all know I can't put a button in 15 seconds, but I could do 60 seconds. Um, very short readings on TikTok. So go follow me on TikTok. Um, it's actually my my name is Aja dot A-A-U-J-H-A dot A-Y-E. Um, also, check out the April Pick a Card spreads april monthlies i will put up april love readings this month because i don't have nobody bothering me and i actually have the time to do it so i'm gonna stop lying to y'all and i'm actually gonna put them up this month all right um i will also be putting up the i believe this is going to be the fourth covid coronavirus pandemic reading um i hope it's the last i really do hope it's the last um i will be putting that up within the next couple of weeks as well and what else do i got for you guys oh Go over to my Etsy shop and book a reading or, or purchase your own personalized natal chart. I do two different versions. Um, I've got a big three personalized natal chart and then I've got a, a all-inclusive personalized natal chart. And these are reports that I write. For those of you guys that don't know, I'm also a writer. That is actually my profession, my first profession. I'm a writer. So if you are interested in your own personal natal chart, you can purchase that from me and it will be written by me it's not a template thing I actually write these and do the research for them myself okay and that's all I got for you guys if you were still listening to me talk what are we like 30 minutes in now probably like the video because you made it all the way through if you got any questions or comments drop them down below and subscribe because you made it all the way through and hit that little bell too if you want to keep up with when I put out new videos thank you guys for tuning in I will catch y'all next time peace